If you're tuning in right now, you happen to be watching the world's truest source for hip-hop news, black culture, sports, and of course the best reaction videos on the net. I'm talking about Kofi's Universe. If you haven't already subscribed, it's your chance to hit that button now before I hit this blunt. Bada. YouTube salute. Nas and Jay-Z are once again on opposite sides of a battle, but this time it's not over rhymes or respect. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up that video. Hit that sub button, click that bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Please check out the short playlist, y'all, whenever y'all get a chance, all right? So on Thursday, Nas threw his hat in the ring with Resorts World Casino, New York City's new $5 billion proposed expansion plan, which would heavily impact the casino's Southeast Queens location. Queens in the house! Excuse me. Nas appeared at an event on Thursday with gaming executives, local politicians, and celebrity chef Marcus Samuelson to explain the plan, which is meant to entice New York City into giving Resorts World one of its three downstate gaming licenses. Um, the company currently only has a so called Racino license which allows betting via slot machines in addition to horse races. So this is kind of new to me because I've never, you know, I'm only been to like, of course, Nevada, gambling out there, California, born and raised, like the Changa, Temecula, um, a little in Arizona, but I've never really knew too much about New York's, um, gambling rules of how do you know you gamble out there at a reception Nas said it is an honor to be here to be a part of this um with resort world realizing the future seeing what this can be and what it will be he also shared a video on instagram promoting the proposal along with the caption this is an ambitious project that will give new opportunities to the hard-working families who call queens home Attract top tier talent and build up the next generation of leaders. Clearly, with this project, the world is ours. Auto Resorts World, because it's an already existing Racino, is generally considered to be in a good position to receive one of the three licenses that is stiff competition, including from Nas, former rival Jay Z. Hove is among the investors in a competing proposal to open a casino in Times Square. So Jay-Z joined forces with SL Green and Caesars Entertainment in a bid to erect a swanky boutique-style casino at 1515 Broadway Office Tower, which is already owned by SL Green, NYC's largest commercial landlord. As part of the partnership, Jay-Z and his team will oversee entertainment programming at 1515 Broadway, as well as the SL Green six other properties in Times Square. So the Nods Back Queens plan, meanwhile, will include a new state-of-art entertainment venue, green space, luxury hotel, conference center, and $50 million getting in innovation campus to House Kenny, the Jet Smith Academy community, Healthcare and Wellness Center in Queens STEM Institute, according to the uh, Resorts World. The proposal also includes uh, it's going to be a park with 3,000 units um, of workforce housing, more than 50 acres of new and dedicated park space, and new transit connections to JFK in Manhattan. Other entireties of the race for the license. Include the area's other existing Racino and Yonkers, along with Resorts World, rumored to be a near certainty for one of the three licenses, as well as a casino near the existing New York Mets Stadium. The effort spearheaded by Mets owner Steve Cohen. There is also another in Hudson Yards in Manhattan, one in Coney Island, excuse me, one near the UN United Nations, and more. The final decision may not come. Until 2025. Wow. Well, congratulations to him and Jay Z. May the best person win and they're doing their thing. Um, like I said, when you an entrepreneur, entrepreneur, excuse me, you a businessman, 
You're supposed to expand. You're supposed to see what else you can do. Like, it should never be no, okay, I got enough money. That's it. You got to always try to figure out how can I tap in? How can I help my community where I grew up at? How can I help my city? But at the same time, how can I put money in my pocket? I mean, come on. Ain't nobody doing nothing for free. But at the same time, though, you still want to give people something back. This is not really giving nothing back. It's more like trying to make some money so people can actually gamble too. But at the same time, you know, <laughs> I'm going to look out for myself. I mean, that's any business person. I don't give a damn. You open up a, a damn juice bar. Yeah, you're looking out for the people in the damn community, but you're trying to make money too. Only a fool going to um, do stuff for free with no payback. Helping out people in the community is one thing, but making money to live and pass down generational wealth is another. Post your comments below. Oh, smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support and donate to the channel, I have Patreon. Patreon.com slash Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description. Until next time, salute.